Hi guys, let's look at the next question. The next question is question number 19. It says ABCD is a rhombus, which means all four sides are equal. And DCFE is, is a square, which means all four sides are equal. So what we have given is AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA equal to DE is equal to EF is equal to CF. This part is given. Angle ABC is given equal to 56 degree. So angle ABC is equal to angle ADC is equal to 56 degree. Why? Because opposite uh, angles of a rhombus are equal. Opposite angles of a rhombus are equal. What it also means is angle BAD is equal to angle BCD is equal to 180 degree minus 56 degree is equal to 124 degree. Why? Since angle DAB plus angle ABC is equal to 180 degree, this is co-interior angles. So this information we already know. What we also know is that the all the vertex angles here will be 90 degree. Perfect. So this is point number four. Uh, angle B E F is equal to angle E F C is equal to angle F C D is equal to angle C D E is equal to 90 degree. Done. All this information we already have. I've just put down the information. Let's see what we can find. I need to find DAE. So DAE. So I'm looking at triangle DEA. So in triangle DEA, what I have is AD is equal to DE. This is from 1, which means triangle DEA is isosceles. So let angle DEA is equal to angle DAE is equal to X. So let these two angles be equal X and X, which means X plus X plus uh, 90 degree plus 56 degree is equal to 180 degree. This is in triangle DAE, which means 2X is equal to 180 degree minus 146 degree is equal to 34 degree. Therefore, X is equal to angle DAE is equal to angle DEA is equal to 17 degree. Half of it. 2X is equal to something. So, X is equal to something. Uh, is, is half of it. So, this is DAE done. So, this is 17 degree and this is also 17 degree. Next, FEA. F E A. So I'm looking at this angle. Okay. So this was, let's give it some number. Let this be six. So number seven angle F E D is equal to 90 degree is equal to 17 degree plus angle F E A, which means angle F E A is equal to 73 degree. Done. This is 17. So this is 73 degree. That's the second part. Next, angle EAC. So, which is angle EAC? I need to find this angle. Do I know anything about this yet? Maybe not. So, let's look at triangle ABC and let's see if I can figure out something. Okay, so num in triangle ABC. So, in triangle ABC, AB is equal to AC. This is point number 9. This is from 1, which means triangle ABC is isosceles. Let angle BAC is equal to angle BCA is equal to Y. So if these two angles are Y, what I get is Y plus Y plus 56 degree is equal to 180 degree 2y is equal to 180 minus 56 that's 124 degree yes 124 therefore y is equal to 62 degree 
therefore angle BAC is equal to angle BCA is equal to 62 degree. So this angle is 62 degree. I know the whole of angle A is 124 degree which I calculated here. So out of which 62 is gone, 17 is gone. How much remains? Let's just calculate that. So uh, this is, let's give it number 10. Number 11 would be angle DAB is equal to 62 degree plus 17 degree plus angle EAC is equal to 124 degree. This is from 3. So what it means is angle EAC is equal to 124 degree minus 62 plus 17 that's 79 degree. Therefore angle EAC is equal to 45 degree. That's point number 13. So we've calculated angle EAC as well. Now brings us AEC. So AEC, which means this angle. Let's see how we can calculate this. Uh, okay. So I know number 14 would be angle DEC is equal to 45 degree. Why? Uh, diagonal of a square bisects vertex angle. So diagonal of a square bisects vertex angle, which means this big angle is 45 out of which 17 is gone. So we will calculate, which means angle DEC is equal to 45 degree is equal to 17 degree plus angle AEC which means angle AEC is equal to 45 minus 17 that's 28 degree done very interesting question let's look at the next question the next question that we do is question number six that's a homework question I'm solving it because a lot of students have asked for it let's look at this question Question 6 says, prove that the bisectors of opposite angles of a parallelogram are parallel. So let's just draw a parallelogram and see how does the diagram look like. So this is a parallelogram that I'm drawing. We need to prove that the bisectors of opposite angles. Okay, so A, B, C and D. I'm looking at bisectors of angle A and angle C. So let me just join BD. We are looking at bisectors of angle A and bisector of angle C. Correct? We need to prove that uh, these two lines are parallel. Let this be AE and let this be CF. Perfect. I know AD is equal to BC. And I know this side and this side are equal since these are bisectors and opposite angles are equal, which means all these four angles are equal X and X. Let's just write whatever we've uh, written in the graph in the diagram and see if we can get something. So number one would be angle DAE is equal to angle BAE is equal to half of angle DAB is equal to half of angle BCD is equal to angle BCF is equal to angle BCF is equal to X. The reason being since opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So since the opposite angles are equal, therefore half of it will also be equal. Perfect. So these things are given equal. I need to prove that these are, I need to prove that AE and FC are parallel, which means basically I'll have to prove some form of angle is equal, which could be alternate or corresponding. So let's see if I can prove two triangles congruent. Let's look at ADE and BCF. Let's look at it. So in triangle ADE and triangle BCF, what do I know? 
number 2 would be ad is equal to bc opposite sides of a parallelogram number 3 would be uh, angle dae is equal to angle bcf this is from 1 anything else that i can uh, get equal yes i can get ade and cbf this angle and this angle equal because these are alternate angles perfect so number four would be angle ade is equal to angle cbf reason being alternate angles are equal therefore by angle side angle test triangle a b e is congruent to triangle b c f how does it help me it will help me by saying that this angle and this angle are equal by c p c t c so let's just write that down which means angle a e d will be equal to angle b f c c p c t c okay so with lines a e and c f and d b as transversal angle d e a and angle BFC are exterior alternate angles. Since angle DEA is equal to angle BFC, this is from 6, therefore AE is parallel to CF. Hence, bisectors of opposite angles of a parallelogram are parallel done nice interesting question let's look at the next question the next question that we do is question number seven prove that the bisectors of interior angle of a parallelogram form a rectangle again let's first draw a rough diagram and see how we can move on from there. So this is a parallelogram which is given. We need to prove that the bisectors of interior angle of a parallelogram form a rectangle. Let's just form the bisectors of the interior angle. So this would be bisector of this angle. This is the bisector of this angle, something like this. This is the bisector of this angle. And this is the bisector of this angle. Perfect. Let's just name them A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. I need to prove that the opposite sides are equal and opposite sides are parallel. So let's just name this. This is X. This is X because uh, these are given uh, that it is given that it is a bisector of the angle similarly this will be x and x because uh, opposite angles are equal let this be y this be y similarly these two angles will also be y so let's just write that down and move on number one angle d a g is equal to angle b a g is equal to angle d c E is equal to angle B C E is equal to X and the number 2 would be angle A D E is equal to angle C D E is equal to angle C B G is equal to angle A B G is equal to Y. Number 3 would be 2X plus 2Y is equal to 180 degree. This is uh, co-interior angle. So sum of co-interior angles is 180. 
which means x plus y is equal to 90 degree. So the sum of x plus y is 90 degree. Now let's look at this triangle ADH. Okay, so in triangle ADH, I have one angle 90, I have the sum of two angles 90, which means the third angle will obviously be 90. Let's write that down. So x plus y plus angle AHD is equal to 180 degree, which means 90 degree, because we said x plus y is 90 degree. 90 degree plus angle AHD is equal to 180 degree, which means angle AHD is equal to 90 degree. This is since x plus y is equal to 90 degree. So this is point number six. Number seven would be angle AHD is equal to angle EHG is equal to 90 degree. This is vertically opposite angles are equal. So this angle is also 90 degree. So we've proven one angle 90. Let's see if we can get another angle. So in triangle, this time we worked with ADH. Let's work with another uh, triangle DEC. So in triangle DEC, again, X plus Y plus angle DEC is equal to 180 degree, which means angle DEC is equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree. Therefore, angle DEC is equal to 90 degree. So we've got this angle as 90 degree. We need to prove the remaining two angles as 90 and then we will be able to say that this is a rectangle. So let's look at triangle ABG. So in triangle ABG, again we have X plus Y plus angle AGB is equal to 180 degree, which means angle AGB is equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree is equal to 90 degree. So we've got this angle also 90 degree. So in quadrilateral HEFG, 90 degree plus 90 degree plus 90 degree, three angles 90 plus angle EFG is equal to 360 degree, sum of four angles in a quadrilateral, which means therefore angle EFG is also equal to 90 degree. Since in quadrilateral EFGH, all vertex angles are 90 degree. So the only figure that we know where the vertex angles are 90 degree is either a rectangle or a square. A square is a special type of rectangle. So since all vertex angles are 90 degree, therefore quadrilateral EFGH is a rectangle. Now, again, a very interesting question. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number nine. Question number nine says, uh, in parallelogram ABCD, the bisector of angle A meets BC at B. Okay, so diagram not given. We'll have to construct our own diagram. So let's look at a rough diagram. So in parallelogram ABCD, the bisector of angle A, so let's just name them first, A, B, C, and D, bisector of angle A meets DC at P. Okay, so this angle and this angle are given equal. Let this angle be alpha. This angle is also alpha. Perfect at P and AB is equal to 2 times AD. So if this is this and this is equal, if this is X, this is 2X. Done. Uh, prove, prove that BP bisects angle B. Okay, so let's look at, uh, so we need to join BP also. So let's first join BP. Good. 
So now a uh, since CD is parallel to AB, if this is alpha, which means this is also alpha, these are alternate angles. Now this makes it a isosceles triangle. So if this is X, this is also X. If this is 2X, the whole CD is 2X, um, X gone, which means this is also X. Uh, so which means if this is angle beta, this is also angle beta. This is an isosceles triangle. Now, if this is beta, which means this angle is also beta. So now we know that BP is bisecting angle B. Let's write all of this down, which we've written here in the rough diagram. So AB is equal to CD is equal to 2X. Let this, let's give this number 2 because we've taken X as something else. So AD is equal to BC is equal to X. So we've taken this as X. This is also X and AB is 2X and CD is also 2X. Number 3, angle DAP is equal to angle BAP is equal to alpha. This is given. Since AP is AP bisects angle A. Done. Number 4 is in triangle ABP. Angle, not triangle, angle APD is equal to angle PAB is equal to alpha. Why? These are alternate angles. Alternate angles are equal. Therefore, it makes therefore triangle ADP is isosceles, which means angle or not angle, which means side. AD is equal to DP is equal to X. Number six, uh, CD is equal to 2X is equal to DP plus PC which means 2x is equal to x plus pc which means pc is also equal to x which is equal to ad which is also equal to bc perfect from one now in triangle pcb number nine would be pc is equal to bc is equal to x this is from eight Therefore, triangle PCB is isosceles, which means angle CPB is equal to angle CBP is equal to beta. Let's take this to be beta. Number 11, therefore, angle CPB is equal to angle AP, ABP is equal to beta. This is alternate angles. Therefore, angle CBP is equal to angle ABP is equal to beta. This is from 10 and 11. Therefore, BP bisects angle B. Done. This part is done. We need to prove that angle APB is equal to 90 degree angle APB is equal to 90. This is what we need to prove. Perfect. So this is the second part done. 2 alpha plus 2 beta is equal to 180 degree. This is uh, sum of co-interior angles, which means alpha plus beta is equal to 90 degree. Now in triangle APB, Alpha plus beta plus angle APB is equal to 180 degree, which means angle APB is equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree since alpha plus beta is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, angle APB is equal to 90 degree. Perfect. So we, we've been doing quite a few interesting questions in this exercise. Uh, that finishes this chapter for me. Thank you so much. Take care. Be safe. I'll see you with the next chapter.